<laughs> All right, what is your name? Christopher Apple. In your hometown? Colfax. Home parish? St. Patrick's. In Colfax? St. Patrick's in Colfax. And which seminary do you attend currently? I attend St. Patrick's in Menlo Park. <laughs> I went to college at Washington State University. Go Cougs. Favorite hobby? Ooh. Favorite hobby would be skiing. Favorite book and why? My favorite book is Narnia. C.S. Lewis has this way of just writing that really captivates you and his vision of God that's there is so profound. Favorite film and why? <laughs> I don't know. What's my favorite movie? Don't, don't ask me. I don't know. You would know as well as I do. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go with Lord of the Rings. I just, I love fantasy. I love, you know, just like the fictional world that J.R.R. Tolkien created. All right. What is your favorite music artist and why? My favorite music artist is probably Chris Renzma. He's this indie Christian artist, so he's not in your face Christian, but he's just very heavily influenced and he's, you know, a little bit more honest. What was your first job? My first job was as a farmhand from my parents' farm. What, what, what are you farming out there? Um, my parents farm wheat uh, and a little bit of barley and every once in a while garbanzo beans. Favorite state in the union besides Washington? Oh, my favorite state in the union is for sure Idaho besides Washington. Washington is obviously the best, but Idaho is a good close second. And your least favorite food and why? I was hoping you were going to say my least favorite state, which is California. <laughs> <laughs> Least favorite food is hot dogs. I had food poisoning three times from hot dogs and I just was done. I'm like, nope, no more, no more hot dogs. Confirmation saint and what? I was eight. Um, I was really lazy and I didn't know a bunch of saints, so I chose Christopher. <laughs> so what is your full name, including your confirmation saint? My full name is Christopher Scott Christopher Apple. Scott is actually my mom's maiden name, so I'm like, it's my mom and my dad and Christopher Scott, Christopher Apple. <laughs> Best liturgical season and why? You know, I really want to say Easter because you don't have to fast and it's all party for 50 days. I also really like Advent just because, I don't know, very hope and expecting, but I do like cake, so Easter has got to be probably it. Who's been one of the most influential people in your life? One of the most influential people in my life is probably my old spiritual director, Father Philip. He just was a really good spiritual father. I mean, helped me through a lot of things in my life. How about influential person in regards to your vocational journey thus far? Ironically, probably the most influential person in my vocational journey is this guy named Jeremy Cassidy. He's a lay person, so not a priest, but he just never would stop hounding me about being a priest. So he just kind of got me. And what, was, what has been one of the best experiences in the seminary thus far? I got to go backpacking in North Yosemite with a bunch of other seminarians. That's probably been the best thing, was just spending three days in the wilderness with a bunch of other seminarians. What has been a challenge thus far? Ooh. Honestly, the biggest challenge is being away from the diocese and the people I actually want to serve. And yeah, whenever I'm down there, I just miss Spokane. So that's probably the biggest challenge. And what are you looking forward to in returning to the seminary this fall? Probably the biggest thing I'm looking forward to is I got this formator who's just a saint and I'm just really excited to just sit at his feet and um, just teach me your ways. I'm really excited to just work with him. Where have you encountered Jesus at seminary? So we got to do an eight day silent retreat and it was the longest silent retreat I've ever been on. And I think like that was the most powerful just encounter with Jesus, which is in the silence of just constantly in prayer with him and just letting him unveil a lot of things about myself and his relationship and what he desires. That was probably the most powerful thing.